Hey guys, it's day 15 of the vlogging experience, and look at what I got. I got my brand new Rogue Fitness uh, six foot climbing rope. It is, um, I think it's called it Spliced. Um, you can see I put some bright orange duct tape on it. That's because the splicing left some frayed ends out, and I'm not a neat freak, but I didn't really like the, uh, the end sticking out like that because I felt that it could unravel faster. Maybe that was irrational and it's just the way it looked. Um, but I feel much better with this duct tape on there. Um, not to do anything for it structurally, but to just make sure that everything stays in place how I got it. Um, I think that this is going to be awesome right here on a road rack as well. Um, they're nice and sturdy. They work well for our kids as well, as well as our adults who are doing either regular grip pull-ups or fat grips, um, hangs. And then on the other rack that we have that down there that you can't see, we have this piece flipped so the fat grip is on the bottom and the skinny grip is on top to just present a, a slightly different challenge there. Um, I love this rope so far because it's the perfect length. It does, doesn't touch the ground. Um, I can do a lot of my work right in here or in a place with a higher ceiling. Um, with this, if I was doing any... Let's see, from here, if I was doing any rope chins or anything like that, let's say I was doing a like uh, a progression up to a single-handed rope chin up, and I had one hand lower and one hand higher. Right now, I can touch the ground with my knees if I really try, but I'm floating here. I just pull up, and then I lower. And it's got just the right amount of space that I need for what I've been using for. I could also do some seated L-sit kind of work with a climbing the rope that way or doing a straddle, which I'm not so good at, so I'm not going to show you those just yet until I'm better at them. Um, but it seems really solid. First thing I discovered besides the end piece is that as you're climbing a brand new rope, some uh, little bits of fiber are going to get in your eyeball. It's not too pleasant, but that's what happens when you get a rope that's made out of real material instead of something synthetic. It's got its imperfections and that's just going to slough off. I think it feels really good just right off the the box that it came coiled up like a cobra in. So I'm pretty stoked to use it. Um, like I said, day 15, I submitted my videos um, showing all of the movements that I'll be doing in the uh, Edo Portal online coaching program, but I haven't gotten a response yet. No hurry. The weekend happened. I say no hurry. I'm checking my email like a crazy person still. But uh, it's just because I'm so excited to start. I'm ready for this process to start. Um, but again, I'll be patient and wait for it. Um, I'm about to shoot another video about how to um, alleviate, uh, eliminate, um, or relieve some, uh, some neck pain that I was just having because I took a nap on a, an exercise mat and I slept funny with my neck and then felt like crap and then I just figured out something with the foam roller that makes it feel way more awesome. So. That's coming up today as well, but as for my vlog, let's cut it here with me having an awesome day, you having an awesome day, and sharing your gift, whatever that may be, and then I will talk to you guys tomorrow on day 16. You might see me doing a little bit of work in action.